Yahweh smote the men of Beit the Shamesh, because they had looked into the ark of Yahweh, and he smote of the people seventy men and fifty thousand men, and the people mourned, because Yahweh had smitten the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beit the Shamesh said, Who is able to stand before Yahweh, this holy God? And to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Qaryath Ya'arim, saying, The Polish team have brought back the ark of Yahweh. Come ye down, and fetch it up to you. Of the books called Shemuel the first, Chapter 7 And the men of Qaryat Ya'arim came, and fetched up the ark of Yahweh, and brought it into the house of Habinadab in the hill. And they had sanctified El Azar his son to keep the ark of Yahweh. And it was from the day that the ark abode in Qaryat Ya'arim that the time was long. For it was twenty years, and all the house of Yishrael lamented after Yahweh. And Shemuel spoke to all the house of Yishrael, saying, If ye do return to Yahweh with all your heart, then put away the foreign gods and the Ashtarot from among you, and direct your hearts to Yahweh, and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Polish team. Then the children of Yishrael did put away the Baalim and the Ashtarot, and served Yahweh only. And Shmuel said, Gather all Yishrael to Mathephah, and I will pray for you to Yahweh. And they gathered together to Mathephah, and drew water, and poured it out before Yahweh, and fasted on that day, and said there, We have sinned against Yahweh. And Shemuel judged the children of Yishrael in Mathephah. And when the Polish team heard that the children of Yishrael were gathered together to Mathephah, the lords of the Polish team went up against Yishrael. And when the children of Yishrael heard it, they were afraid of the Polish team. And the children of Yishrael said to Shamuel, Cease not to cry to Yahweh our God for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Polish team. And Shamuel took a sucking lamb and offered it for an ascending offering, a whole offering to Yahweh. And Shamuel cried to Yahweh for Yishrael, and Yahweh answered him. And as Shemuel was offering up the ascending offering, the Polish team drew near to battle against Yishrael. But Yahweh thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Polish team, and discomfited them, and they were smitten down before Yishrael. And the men of Yishrael went out of Mathephah, and pursued the Polish team, and smote them, until they came under Beit the Kor. Then Shemuel took a stone, and set it between Mathephah and Shen, and called the name of it Abnehazer, saying, Hitherto hath Yahweh helped us. So the Polish team were subdued, and they came no more within the border of Yishrael, and the hand of Yahweh was against the Polish team all the days of Shemuel, and the cities which the Polish team had taken from Yishrael were restored to Yishrael, from Akaron even to Gut. And the border thereof did Yishrael deliver out of the hand of the Polish team. And there was peace between Yishrael and the Amorri. And Shemuel judged Yishrael all the days of his life. 
and he went from year to year in circuit to Baitheel and the Galagal and the Mathefa, and he judged Yisrael in all those places, and his return was to the Ramah, for there was his house, and there he judged Yisrael, and he built there an altar to Yahweh. And it was when Shamuel was old that he made his sons judges over Yisrael. Now the name of the firstborn was Yoel, and the name of his second, Abiyah. They were judges in Behrashaba. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after the unjust gain, and took bribes and perverted justice. Then all the elders of Yisrael gathered themselves together, and came to Shemuel, to the Ramah, and they said to him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations.'